So it's currently 7 p.m. and I'm just starting today's vlog. in a couple of months because I had a ref ticket in LA I was there shooting the car at the underpass and a cop drove by looked under my car saw I didn't have a cat and pretty much wrote me a ref ticket right there right then so today I thought it wouldn't hurt to maybe warm it up take it to the car wash give it a bath show it some love and then maybe drive it to a low-key spot because I just got this new gimbal. It's the GoPro Karma Grip, I think. And I wanted to test it out since I just switched over to these GoPros. I needed a gimbal for cinematic shots. So that's today's goal. But first, I got to get coffee. So I got my coffee. Now, I gotta get gas for the car. I got Buddy with me. Hey, buds. It's Buddy, everybody. And uh, then we're gonna head to the car wash. Oh, I guess I gotta pay first. But I'm excited to drive this thing, and I'm excited to even wash it. But first, I gotta put some gas in it, and then off to the car wash. Perfect. There's nobody here. I hate it when it's busy at the car wash. That's why I go at these times, you know? People might be wondering, why are you washing your car at 8 o'clock when it's freezing outside? It's the best time to go. You don't have to wait for anybody. So I go at times like this when there's not really anybody waiting in line so I can take my sweet time. Hi, oh, buds. Buddy doesn't look too happy about this. He knows he's going to have to stay in the car. how much I miss washing my car look how shiny it is so it's normally a matte color so when I see it wet like this and it's shiny it kind of makes me reconsider maybe going back to a gloss if I to wrap it again though I think I'd do it in white so I just left the car wash I realize that I'm not wearing my seatbelt I got my GoPro Karma at the house, so I gotta go back and pick it up, and then we can test out some of these cinematic shots with this new GoPro gimbal thing. Got it. So I'm here at the drive-thru at Sabrosada and I'm gonna get me a little bit of Mexican food uh, before I shoot the car. Thank you for choosing Sabrosada. May I take your order? Yeah, can I get a uh, carne asada? Uh, actually, yeah, can I get a carne asada burrito with uh, meat, cheese, and sour cream? Only? Yeah, only. So carne asada burrito with no guacamole, no pico de gallo, but you want meat? And what was that? Sour cream. Okay. Pretty excited about this food. This is probably one of my favorite hole in the wall Mexican food spots. And out here in California, that's that's the go-to food, you know what I mean? We all eat Mexican food. We're this close to the border, so we've got a lot of Mexican influence in our culture down here. 
Like for example, I live in a city called Mission Viejo. I grew up thinking that's just a regular name until I realized, look how massive this burrito is. That's why I love this place. to a random plaza over here. I mean, uh, I'm in the Home Depot parking lot. And um, I like the dramatic lighting in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out this uh, GoPro Karma. See how this thing works. Hey, there it goes. Look at that. It's crazy. All right, well, let's go try this thing out and see how well it works. It looks like it's gonna do really well. Only thing is, I'm not sure if I should leave hyper mode on or not. But look at this thing, it looks like it's got a mind of its own. Cool, so I'm gonna try this thing out, do some shots of the S2K, and uh, show them to you right after this. got done using the karma grip thing I think it worked out pretty well that footage looks super smooth right so last thing I'm gonna do before I head home because I think it's almost midnight is I'm gonna throw the drone in the air so I can get some aerial shots for the intro of this video so like what the hell is that guy doing at midnight recording himself by his car people must think I'm crazy it's like I'm making a YouTube video what you try to be in the YouTube video you try to be in the vlog bro 